first installment of Fox the Phoenix Bird, Dumbledore's special bird. Here's the block of foam that we're going to start with. And it has one piece of foam glued to the back for the bird's tail. And I have it propped up on a piece of PVC and a bucket of cement. So it's a nice little stand for me to work with. And here's the inspiration. It's kind of a bad photograph, but it gives me the general size of his body and the shape of his wings and tail and head. So we're going to start with that and I will show you my progress in a little bit. I just wanted to point out something that sometimes I sketch the creature, animal, or figure that I'm doing and sometimes I don't. This time I did actually sketch out both the profile you can kind of see the head where the feathers are going to come out, the neck and the body and kind of the angle of the legs as well as how this piece is going to attach to be his feathers just to kind of give me a guideline. I did the front a little bit and then of course I did the other side just to kind of give me an idea. I see that I need another piece down here to attach for the feet to come out and to grab onto the um, piece of wood or bar that I'm going to put them on. And then I need another piece, or I'll fill this up with some clay. And, you know, I, I generally sometimes don't sketch because I can fill in and fix things with clay, just like I did with Buckbeak and some of the other creatures. So, but this one I did went ahead and sketch it just to see a real, so you guys can see an idea of a real quick one. Okay, so here's Fox about half hour later. He's starting to take shape. We've got his head his form cut out. The front part needs to be filled in with the beak, but his neck is the right amount. And then I've got the tail feathers kind of cut out generally. I'm leaving this middle part here because it's attaching through the PVC, but eventually that'll be cut out and you'll see two separate legs in the front and so I'm going to take him down and I need to glue this extra piece like this just so I have less clay I don't want him too heavy and then I can cut that down and form his back and then we can pretty much start claying um, I might cut just a wee bit more but then it's going to be just clay I'm not going to add some real feathers spray paint them red and then he'll be good to go. So on to the next part. Need a little update with Fox. As you can see his face is built up a little bit more. I need to work on this beak in stages because it's quite long. But there's his head with a little bit more clay and then his wings. I want them to come out a little bit. So this is the second time I've built up some clay and then that'll dry and then I'll get a chance to add some more. So you can kind of see him from the side. I'm going to cut down some of this foam. It's just there to kind of give me a little idea. And uh, I actually found some feathers which are pretty long. So I think I'm going to replace the foam with real feathers. And I have some shorter feathers that I'll use for the top. Um, and then the foam has to be slimmed down a little bit for his chest. But he's coming along pretty good. He's starting to look more bird-like. So we will give an update soon. Okay, here's Fox. He looks pretty funny with all his colors. <laughs> um, I can't find my white clay it's somewhere so I had this other colored clay and so I built up his eyes a little bit I built up the bottom of his bill and the boys and I had a lot of fun hot gluing all these feathers and these are actually real goose feathers that we found on a hike once and then these red ones down here these are actually feathers I found in my craft bin which were perfect and they were the perfect size so I hacked off the foam and I just hot glued these on there. I don't even think I have to paint them much since they're the right color. And there's a few more of the goose feathers back there. So he is ready 
to be sanded. I'm going to sand him just a little bit more, especially on his bill, and to be painted. Now the first thing I do is I take this this asphalt sealer stuff right down here, this Dura White. It's really thick, even though it goes on like paint, but it just seals everything, especially the clay, so that there's no problems with water. So once he's all sealed up, actually I have to do one more thing. I have to cut the foam up a little bit here and then cut, see you can see the claws. If I cut the foam at the bottom, then his claws will be flush with the stick that I want him to stand on. So that's one last thing I have to do, and then I can seal all of him, and then we can start having some fun with, with the painting. So anyway, here's an update on Fox, and you'll see more very soon. Here's Fox. He is coming along. I got the red done. I've got a little bit of the brown. Now I need to add the black. I already got his feathers done and then most of his feet. So he just needs a little bit more coloring detail and he's pretty much done. I got some yellows and oranges and I have to sponge a little bit of feather um, effect on him and that's it you can see from the back most people are not going to see the back very much but you know it all kind of blends together once you get the paint on he's looking pretty good and here's fox he's all finished got all his painting done and i was just cleaning up his eyes doing a little white accent and doing the yellow and then I sponge painted red and yellow which gave me the orange of course and then went over with yellow again and then I made a little highlights under his wings so they darken a little bit and then I was painting his feathers so that has little stripes that he has in the picture so here he is now he's going to be mounted on our donation box. Uh, usually I have a vulture or a rat perched up on there where people can donate for animal shelter. Um, we always give the money to the animal shelters or animals in need. So he will be perched up there, which I think will be perfect for him. And um, of course have some music in the background and everything. And uh, yeah, he'll be our little mascot for the donation box. You can see his feathers down here too. Gave those the stripes and it blended really nicely with the foam. Now I'm gonna have to mount him with probably with another PVC pipe. So I'll have a short piece probably screwed into my uh, piece of wood in the back, black it out so no one can see it. And then um, his claws will hang over the wood piece. This is flat here as you can see but it'll hang over like he's gripping the wood but this will be this will be screwed in from the back so no one can see so that'll look that'll work out I think and I'm hoping that his feathers hold up if it rains shouldn't be a big deal but yeah there's Fox let me back up a little bit so you can see his whole whole self and I'm really happy with him he's very nice so 
yeah, he was a cool project. Very, very cool.